Hello, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Not yet though, you gotta wait till the end of the video. So that's the beginning of the video. I see, I see what you did. So last night in Austin, it snowed. What? Why did we even move here? We're moving to Ecuador. Okay. I'm assuming Ecuador is on the equator because of the name. Sure, sure. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, si. Sí. Mm, ask me if I speak Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? Oui, oui. Oh no. So beard lovers, I don't know if you know this, but uh, we had a baby recently. Uh, and I want to tell you about the whole birthing experience. We were planning for an unmedicated birth at a birth center, which is where we're headed right now because they want to they wanna check up on our, our little one. But here's the thing, two weeks past due date, uh, the doctor noticed China had a lot of amniotic fluid in her belly. Amniotic fluid. I probably had a lot of beer in my belly. Beer. I mean, that's usually the case. Birth center wasn't comfortable with that, so we had to go to the hospital and they had to induce. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel like I'm ready to have a baby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. After my jello. Yeah, you look more like you're ready to have jello than a baby. It's really good jello. You still want to have a baby after that jello? I don't know because there's another thing at jello. Oh. Mm. And the way they do that is they take the mom and then they, they push on her belly until the baby comes up. That's not right. They pump her full of Pitocin. Pitocin. Come with me if you want to live. Which is an artificial version of oxytocin. Oxytocin. You are not you. You are me. No shirt. Which is a thing, a hormone or something, right? Hormone? Mm -hmm. Just gets the, the contractions going. Is it? Couldn't. Didn't. Wouldn't. Is that all you can say? And so the contractions weren't really uh, being productive, so they had to break her water. Stick a thing in there and they they poke at the placenta and break the water. The amniotic sac. The amniotic sac. Exactly what I said. Amniotic sac, my nickname in high school. And now we're here, so we have to go into the birth center. I'll be right back. I'll be back. And we're back. I'm back. Checked out all the things, and all the things look good. Everybody's healthy. I probably didn't need to eat that second bowl of chili last night, but that's that's a different issue. Chili. Breaking the water made the contractions real strong. She had the epidural, and then she felt great. And the guy who gave the epidural's name was Herzog. Not the director, Werner Herzog. That'd have been cool. There is some sort of a harmony. It is the harmony of overwhelming and collective murder. How'd you feel after the epidural? Um, beautiful, like beautiful dream. Epidural. You wanna reenact what you were like during the contraction? Well, I was going, uh... My Larry, I don't want to see you. I got the epidural at three, oh, and yeah. then I started pushing at six. During pushing, food was an issue. Okay, so the issue was food. You were going into hard labor. That's what we call it. In in right. In the industry. The doctor was in there with the catcher's mitt, ready to catch the baby. And the nurses are like, push, 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 push. I start to see the head. Yeah. Coming out. It's, it's amazing and horrifying sight. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. Yeah. It's pretty gross. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It had been 23 hours since I had last eaten. Once you get to the hospital to be induced, they don't let you eat anymore. I had plenty. I was doing good. Yeah, yeah. you got a cheeseburger. Yeah, it's delicious. And fries. Day. I ate it in the hallway so you couldn't smell it. Cause I'm a good husband. Cheeseburger. French fries. The hospital cafeteria closes at 7. Like, I was more concerned about getting food at that point than the baby being born. I at called. 6 45, you at 6 45, called. the nurses were like telling me to call. Yeah. So I called while holding your leg, while they were going push, push, push. Uh -huh. I talked to a dude. One of the nurses took a picture of it. I don't think we got that picture. No, I have it. You I'm have the, the picture? Oh, yeah, let's we'll, show it. We'll show a picture of after the birth with you with all the food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. I was very happy to mm -hmm. eat. <laughs> and then um, they, they were expecting this, this push would be the one because there was a lot of head hanging out there. Uh -huh. Nope. 
There was even more head. I have a big head. Ada has a big head. She's got a pretty big head. The head comes all the way out. Uh -huh. That's when I see all that extra fluid that you had. Oh, yeah. Later on, she wondered why there was blood on her foot. Yeah, I had blood on my foot. And There's I know why. Everywhere. Because it, was, it shot out like a fountain. Bunch of amniotic fluid. It shot upwards and out. Oh. It was amazing. <laughs> and disturbing. And then this little baby, which was a slightly purple baby. Not little. Giant baby came out. And every, the, everyone was like, oh my god. Like, everyone was surprised at how big she was. I blew up the baby. <gasps> Mama. And I said that I thought that she would be, like, bigger than eight and a half pounds, but not nine pounds. Nine pounds. Twelve ounces. Twelve ounces. Yep. And how tall? Twenty-one and a quarter inches. Twenty-one and a quarter inches. He's over a hundred feet tall. You stop right now! Is born exactly at 7 p.m. Yep. November 17th, 2017. Yep. 2017! They pulled mm -hmm. her out and she was this big thing. To me, looked like dead. And then the first thing she does, screams, lets out a big scream, <laughs> a big cry. And it went right to my heart. It was like, oh my God, she's in pain. Oh. And then laid down on your chest and I got footage of, of that moment. And did you say you gave me a red rubber? Oh, I had one. I did not give it to you. I was just... This is minutes like after you were born. And here's what she looks like now. Welcome to the family, Ada. Think we can get her to wink? Probably not. Do you want to wink? Sure. Thank you for watching. Click there to see all baby related videos. YouTube thinks you like that video and you can support us on Patreon over here. And if you want to be notified about all my videos, hit subscribe and the bell. DFTBA is offering free shipping through Monday on purchases of $80 or more if you use the code free and you'd like some sweet wheezy garb. Now shh, my baby's sleeping. Leave a lullaby in the comments.